Now, before I say that, there are tons of people who filed for unemployment and didn't receive anything. And it's funny we're talking about zero because these people received just that zero interaction, zero letters. I mean, just zero anything. <laughs> popular question I've been asked, should I file for PUA when I've already filed for unemployment benefits and received a zero award? Well, first let me say that anyone can file a claim several times over. There's nothing in the system that will stop you from doing so. Now the goal is to file a claim that will get you what you need faster without frustrating the whole process and prolonging your claim payout. So before I truly can answer your question, let's discuss why you may have that zero benefit. Now, if you've already filed your UI and received an award notice, which basically shows that zero benefit, it could be because of one of these three scenarios. EDD just couldn't verify your identity, and so they'll respond to you uh, by mail with instructions on how to rectify this. You'll have about 10 days from the mail date to respond with two different forms of identity documents from this list that they'll provide for you. So once they verify your identity, they'll send you a new notice with UI benefits if you meet all of their eligibility requirements or not. Now, some gig workers will probably fall into this category. If you were either misclassified by your employer as an independent contractor instead of an employee, or the reverse. You've told EDD that your gig employer, Uber or Lyft, misclassified you and that you are an employee of the company and not an independent contractor, and they're gonna have to investigate that. Or your employer may have reported incorrect wage information, and in most cases, you receive a zero benefit while they're investigating that. They'll send information to you and to your employer to rectify that. And if your wages aren't, accurate you'll have a chance to provide proof which is good so that you'll be able to get the amount that you need and they'll get all the information from you they need to make a determination if you're self-employed independent contractor and have not paid your contribution into the unemployment insurance trust fund this is probably why as part of federal cares act the new pandemic unemployment assistance program helps unemployed Californians who are like not usually eligible for regular state unemployment benefits or partially unemployed for reasons directly related to the virus. This includes business owners, independent contractors, self-employed folks, basically even people with like a limited work history. Okay, so now that we cleared that up, this is the part that you've been waiting for. If you fall in these categories, you can apply to PUA without any confusion. Now, before I say that, there are tons of people who filed for unemployment and didn't receive anything. And it's funny we're talking about zero because these people received just that zero interaction, zero letters, just zero anything. So these people who filed prior to the governor changing everything, they should reapply for PUA. If you have know without a shadow of a doubt that you're self-employed or independent contractor and you haven't appealed any decision that has been made on your case, you should reapply. If you received the notice stat status of wages that said that you didn't make enough money to qualify for benefits or that you only receive a zero benefit and you haven't appealed anything, you haven't submitted wages or anything like that, then you can go and apply with a PUA system. If you haven't had any employee wages in the past 18 months reported to California, you should apply and can apply. Now look, I forgot to flash my disclaimer, so I'm letting you know now, I'm not a tax pro. This is just information, research that I'm doing, and this research is out there. You guys can get it for yourself. I know things are making us crazy right now, and this is why I try to do so much research so I can bring the facts to you so you can make the decision you need to do what you need to do for yourself. Like I know a bunch of creators are jumping on these trendy topics and just having conversations because they get paid for it. And that's not my MO. I'm truly trying to give you as much information that you need to make the best decision for you, for yourself. 
because you are the only one that has to live with the outcome. <sighs> so if you have any other questions for me, please reach out to me on Facebook or YouTube. I'd be happy to answer them. Something about the way you talk now.